In this video, I'm going to show you recovery mode in Reaper. Now recovery mode or safe mode is basically the ability to open up a Reaper project with all the plugins turned off or set offline with the concept that if a Reaper project won't open or keeps crashing, it's based on an effect or plugin, usually a third party effect or plugin. So the best way to figure out which plugin or effect it is, is to open the project in recovery mode or safe mode. So a project set up here with a bunch of effects on these tracks. As we can see right here, each plugin has a bunch of effects on it. And we can see it better if I open up the mixer. Here we can see all the plugins in this project. I have a bunch on the mixer. I have the Reaper ones on the vocal and third party plugins on all of the other tracks. And obviously this project has opened, but we're gonna pretend that we have a problem and Reaper keeps crashing when we open up this project. So we wanna open up in recovery mode or safe mode. So let's start off by closing this project and open it up again. We'll go to file, open project, and here's the project I wanna open up. And instead of double clicking it or choosing open over here, we'll first choose to open effects offline or recovery mode. And if we do this and hit open, Reaper shows us this project load warning. The following effects were in the project file, but not loaded because of a user request. That's us. So it's opening in recovery mode. Hit okay. And the project opens very quickly as it doesn't load any plugins. If I right click over here, all the plugins are grayed out. And we can see it better in the mixer. All the plugins look like this, letting us know they're offline. So now we need to put them online one by one to figure out which plugin or effect is causing the problem. We could right click one and simply put it back online. And we can see it didn't cause a problem. Now this isn't the best way to do this as doing it one by one, a lot of the plugins are redundant, especially if we have many tracks. And also if we look on these items, we have effects on these items. So all our effects in this project don't just show up on the tracks. They also show up on the items. See it's grayed out. So we need to see all of them at once. And luckily there's a window to do that. But as a quick shortcut to put these effects offline or online, hit control shift on the PC or command shift on the Mac to put it offline or online. But again, I wouldn't do this from the mixer. Instead, we'll go to the view menu and choose the project media effects bay. That opens up this dialog where we can see everything in our project, our source media, the media items, but more importantly for this, all the effects in this project, regardless of where they're used. And as you can see, they're all offline, but now they're listed over here in alphabetical order based on the plugin or effects used in this project. So right from here is an easier way to bring them online or turn them offline. And we could do them one at a time, and we should. So we could double click this effect and bring it back online. Now we can see it's active and it didn't crash the project. So this plugin is good. And just do the same with each one, one at a time. Now we could bring them all online by selecting all of them and doing it this way, but that defeats the purpose. We need to figure out which plugin is actually crashing this project. So you should do it one by one until Reaper crashes. And once it does, you know that plugin or that effect is causing the problem. So you can replace it, use something else, maybe update it, or figure out why that plugin isn't working with Reaper or your system. But this is the best way to troubleshoot it using recovery mode and going one plugin at a time. But there is another way we could open in recovery mode or safe mode. Let's close the project again. We won't save it. And because the project was most likely opened recently, we could open it this way. We can go up here to the file menu under recent projects and find that project. And to open it in recovery mode, just hold Alt on the PC or option on the Mac 
to open it in recovery or safe mode. And again, it shows us the project load warning, hit OK, and it opens it very quickly again. And again, we can see all the plugins are offline by default. We could turn them back on with that keyboard shortcut, Control Shift on the PC, or Command Shift on the Mac. But again, the better way to do this, because you might have effects on your items or takes, is to go to the View menu under the Project Media Effects Bay, go to the Effects tab, and turn them online from here, one by one, based on their name. And once you find the effect that's the problem, just replace it, update it, or find another plugin that does the same thing. So that's pretty much it. That's recovery mode in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!